Devois Whaley is a starting tailback tonight. And Kelly will throw on first down to a slant, and it fell out of the hands of Jordan Jones. He really emerged and looking to get some targets tonight. Kelly's going to take off on a design quarterback run, and he'll shove forward. For the line's going to have a challenge all night containing these guys. Kelly to throw back to that slant, and it went right through the hands of his intent. Alabama, you can build off that and find things in film to generate even more confidence. First carry for David Williams, and he finds. Backs, we're going to see a plan to start to figure out this Auburn defense. On second and ten, pocket collapsing. Kelly delivers over the middle for a strike to that ball. It's a, it's a good first completion there. Another chance for David Williams, and he's able to pick up a right now. way off sides. Oh, there's that flag. Number 91 was lined up a good yard offside. Kelly delivers a strike anyway, and it's a first. Here's the call. Offside, defense, number 91. Penalty is declined. Result of the play. And we've seen him come off his first read and deliver a strike. Kelly keeps this one. And he's going to lumber his way for an Arkansas first down. Quarterback run to about 10. I know he's going to take a few extra hits. I want to limit those as much as possible. Williams takes a lift. Into round on second and eight. Deion Stewart has to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Gus Malzahn, if you can't practice, then you can't play on Saturday. And he was limited on the practice field this week. Kelly fires out of the pocket. He's able to find Jonathan Mann. Kelly surveys the field, decides to take off. Holding number 18 on the offense. Penalty is 10 yards from the previous spot. Replay first down. Well traveled tight end. Came here from Yuma, Arizona. Kelly. Incomplete. We got a flag on the play. Okay. Pass interference on the defense. Number 24. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Calmness about his game. Under center this time. Pocket collapsing. He dumps it off. The screen to Chase Hayden, the freshman cuts it back. Hayden moves his way past midfield, largest gain of the... Plenty more of that. Flags down, whistles will stop play. Prior to the snap, ball start, 62 on the offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Team in the country, an undefeated 8-0 and 5-0. They took care of Tennessee at home today. First and 15 for Cole Kelly in Arkansas. And he gets it away, but incomplete. You have to do that. Also learn a little about him in the first couple drives. Yeah, I thought that was a really interesting line of thinking as Kelly delivers it over the middle. That'll pick up 12. He's had a little pressure, but he's had clean pockets so far. Just one or two times they've gotten to him. Here's Hayden. And knocked out of bounds Jim Pro, uh, Coach's group. Five of eight on fourth in the year. They'll ride the steamboat towards the line. We'll see if they got it. That was before Austin Allen was injured. Kelly pulls it back. Pressure. And they're going to get him. Take him down. Start to notice here. So second and long, four-man rush for Auburn, looking for a screen, and Kelly spikes it. We've got a flag. Is Holding, the... number 76 on the offense. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Free play, second down. He said, I'm not really worried about Arkansas's screen game, except that they'll do it in moments you don't expect. Big time. Arkansas has yet to convert a third down tonight. Kelly hit as he throws, and incomplete. Third down, then they stopped him on fourth. Cole Kelly coming out of his own end zone. On an out route, fires incomplete Saturday. Coming out of the end zone with Devlock. Third down, four. Kelly throws it on the run. Clock and short of the marker, Jonathan Nance. See if Arkansas can get that run game going. On first down, they try it out, and David Williams. A rule back so much. And that's one reason why. Another flag on third down. Paul Ramirez, a senior from Rialto, California. 76 in the offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. Third to third down. Now it's third and 11. Auburn brings four. Kelly gets smoked by Holland. And it is incomplete. Back passes play action without establishing the run first. They're about equal in run pass play selection thus far. And this one will open it up. The freshman Chase Hayden takes it into Auburn. Williams down the backfield. 
Kelly pumps and it gets dragged down. We've got a flag on the play. Holding number 72 on the offense. 10-yard penalty previous five. Free play, first down. Let's see it both ways. Kelly's a dude with a strong arm, hadn't really had much of a chance. Here's Williams. He squirts free, and Williams takes it to the 30. Oh. On second and four, Williams dances his way to the 25. That should be good for getting guys set, coming. set up. And movement. Start, 76 on the Five yard penalty. First down. Kelly down the sideline, incomplete before being lost with a shoulder injury after the South Carolina contest. Kelly rumbles his way forward. That's going to set up under a minute to go before the end of the half. Kelly complete to the 20. Try to set up the run on first down. Devwall Whaley picks on the. Offensive lineman, pardon me, it looked like his right foot brought Gibson off the field. Back to the running game, and Whaley goes backward in one of these. Now he's going to hand it off. Devall Whaley is able to pick up today. And Butch Jones in Tennessee still looking for their first conference win of the season. Loss of wow. Thought maybe that was a Yeti 110 ice down. Pressure coming. Kelly steps up, trying to direct traffic, and a bullet over the middle, incomplete. Not good. I mean, how many times has Auburn brought pressure or gotten to Kelly without bringing an extra man? They do it here, and the ball got loose, kicked out of bounds by Auburn. Hit him 17 of 24 tonight. Second half against LSU, he was just two for 13, for six yards, yeah. and he was sacked twice. They get to Kelly, but he still gets it away. T thought Cole Kelly yeah. was going to get his head knocked off. <laughs> he almost did. What makes the tight end? And he runs, and, and not many teams use the tight end at all, let alone with the screens. That's what I was worried about, tested with a quarterback that can run. Elsewhere in the league today, tonight, Darius Geis. Distributing the ball, you're going you're to be able to get Geis with some open lanes. How about your boy Drew Locke today? 400-yard passing game. Tied the school record that was set by Chase Daniel. I understand Chase is back at the game today with some of his teammates. Here's David Williams. And was buried at South Carolina. Whether he was in the doghouse for his play or just uh, relationship with Muschamp, I guess it could be debated. Some people Bielema recruited him out of high school, so he was familiar with him. But even Brett Bielema said he's been a pleasant surprise. Third and seven. He gets taken down. Jeff Holland was there. Somehow he shot and killed Austin Revolt. Cole Kelly carries many reminders of that night with him today, including a bullet still lodged in his left leg. Auburn with the sack and a takeaway. He's got about seven quarters under his belt. Competitive football, right? Second start. And Kelly trying to move the pile a little bit, is able to pick up. Last week, he can tell us you in the second second half. Mm -hmm. Flag on the play. Offside on the defense. Penalty is five yards from the previous spot. Stolts in a first down. There will be one untimed down. LSU controls its own destiny. Things are really interesting down there now. Yeah. It's a young team that's just. Second and six for Cole Kelly. Pressure. Here's the screen. Devwall Whaley gets bottled up. Coe's barreling through people, so is Holland, and Kelly gets it away complete for a first. Thought she was a beauty queen from the state, decided to transfer here to Fayetteville. They ended up retiring his number two. Sure. I didn't get a silver medal. I got third place in that heat. That's about the best I ever did. Oh, Kelly was thinking about shoveling that thing. And now they move like frame. Yeah, now they move 91 inside. I mean, that's a lot of pass rushers there. They get to Kelly again. Georgia, the college football <laughs> playoff. That wouldn't have any drama. No. Coach Clue coaching up that defensive line. That's a team that I think can be very dangerous down the stretch with a young quarterback if he continues to grow. Then you get there.
Little toss. And Williams taken down. Finally have to gain a nine. Let's go to the studio. Yeah, I've got a t-shirt to prove it. What, 1966? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was 1911. <laughs> Shea Patterson injured but returned for Ole Miss. Phil Kelly sets up the tight end screen. Cheyenne O'Grady. He's big and beefy. And O'Grady is able to take outs waiting to spin a run past that 10 to 15. He got quite a few of them today. Kelly able to dump this one off and they'll pick up four That's yards. Right. Seven. I mean, you want us a race, he'll beat me again that too. <laughs> uh, you got him beat in the shoe department. Pressure on Kelly, and he gets taken down by Big Cat Bryant. Auburn, no whistle yet. Britt picks it up, and he's going to rumble with it for a little while. After further review, the run was down prior to fumbling the ball. It will be Arkansas ball, third down at the 38 yard line on the left half. Two. You're right. Shovel pass to Grady, and Cheyenne O'Grady is able to take it. That's complete, and Arkansas will convert on fourth and midseason. Yeah, yeah, maybe one guy that you get to throw to a little bit more, or one guy that after practice you stick around with, but you don't get under five to go. Here's Deboa Whaley. Hey, by the way, special thanks for second and goal. Cole Kelly is going to try to keep it. And it's tonight. A lot. Too many. Here's Whaley. Nice cutback. And he's to the goal line and in. And that's how this one will come to an end.